वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज ग्राफ थियोरी एंड हाउ मेनी एप्लीकेशंस व्हिच इज देयर विद ग्राफ थियोरी नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ग्राफ थियोरी देन दैट इज व्हाट स्टडी ऑफ ग्राफ्स एंड दोस ग्राफ्स आर मैथमेटिकल मॉडल ऑफ डिफरेंट सेट्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स those systems may be control systems those systems may be a circuits which is there regarding electrical or electronics it may be interconnection of computers there are many applications which is there along with graph theories so graph theory that explains graphical representation or you can say pictorial representation of any system in which whatever nature is there with different object that may not be covered but it shows how connection is there and how it will be reacting to the different sets of inputs so different elements and all those things that i'll be explaining you in next videos in this video what we will be doing is i'll be explaining you basic meaning of graph theory and what are the applications which is there with graph theory so as i have said see graph theory is a study of graphs which are mathematical structure used to model pairwise relation between objects so here objects may be related control system it may be there in terms of circuit it may be there in terms of connection in between computers so that we will discuss in application part see graph is a pictorial representation of sets of object connected by links so we will see different types of graph in next further videos let us discuss what are the applications which is there with graph theories so when we talk about applications in electrical and electronics we use graph theory to design the circuits so in this playlist of network theory i'll explain you how we can design the circuits using graph theory you will be observing in control engineering using signal flow graph we use graph theory so signal flow graph those are used to identify transfer function of the system in which we observe how connection is there in between nodes and how final transfer function is there of whatever system that is connected in graph so that is what the part which i have already covered in control engineering you will be observing in computer science it is used for algorithms like dijkstra algorithm prism algorithm kruskal algorithm so those algorithms are there in which graph theory is been used these algorithms are used to find shortest path from transmitter to receiver these algorithms are also used to identify maximum bandwidth path or you can say possible paths in between transmitter and receiver so there are many other applications which is which is there with graph theory in computer science but here i have listed this algorithms only when we talk about computer network so it is used to show interconnection in between computers in the network and you will be observing in network simulator we use graph theory in which computers are connected in between each other and whatever bandwidth is associated with computer or whatever data rate is been provided in between computer all those things that we can simulate in network simulator so in computer network also there is very essential application which is to identify computer network along with the speed connected in between two nodes as well as it is also used to identify possible path as well as it is also used to identify how we can correct and detect error in science there are many applications i have listed few only like molecular structure can be studied chemical structure that we can study by using graph theory as well as dna structure that can be established by using graph theory you will be surprised to know that in linguistics we use graph theory in which the parsing tree of language can be studied by using graph theory as well as grammar of the language that is also based on graph theory so whenever you form any statement at a time in sequence it should follow some trees 
if it is not following well defined trees in that case computer automatically identifies that there is grammatical error in word file you might be observing that if green line is coming below your statement in that case it shows there is grammar error so that is how graph theory that is used in many applications of engineering but here what i'll be doing is i'll be explaining you specific application which is to design circuits which is useful for electrical electronics and instrumentation engineer so here what is our agenda our agenda is to identify how we can form graph of circuit and once you form graph of circuit there are few parameters that we need to understand so for that in next video i'll be going to explain you how graph can be formed and what are the terminologies which are there with graph so all those things that we'll be going to study in next video i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video